over the last, uh, my last, last assignment as superintendent of schools in the Saginaw Mission School District, we use Micro Society as a, uh, uh, a new program to, to increase visibility of a brand new school. Uh, uh, we uh, use it to attract new students, and we use it to jumpstart our reform program in the school district. Uh, what we were able to do is increase uh, parent participation, community participation, attendance was increased, and certainly achievement was increased uh, in, a, in a program that had been dormant, actually in an empty building for 15 years. Uh, enrollment uh, topped out after the first year, uh, and we met our objectives uh, by using Micro Society. Uh, upon coming to, to uh, Shreveport and Cattle Parish schools, uh, I had a unique opportunity because 11 schools were under threat of state takeover, and we thought instantly about micro societies being one way that we could uh, uh, introduce our students and our staff in this community to a concept that really involves students, parents, and the community in the total education of children. And uh, micro society is one that uh, I'm real comfortable with. Uh, I love the results. Uh, we've seen um, a pretty quick turnaround in our schools, and so Micro Society was implemented here in Cattle Parish Schools. As we seek uh, creative ways to address some of the unique needs of our students in underperforming schools, we find that Micro Society provides a, an opportunity uh, to, to completely change the culture of a school and a community through its schools, working with each other, you can't beat that. Uh, exploring new new uh, things uh, and, and having creative problem solving uh, around that uh, really, really uh, is what this whole new economy is based on. 21st century um, uh, economy will require that our students be creative thinkers, uh, innovators, uh, those who can work in teams, and those who can think uh, out of the box, as we, as we say. Uh, the Micro Society program, uh, by its very nature and design, offers those opportunities uh, in a very sequential, uh, very structured way. The most immediate thing that I saw was I saw increased attendance, uh, which is always uh, positive. If students are in school, uh, certainly we increase our chances of giving them the kinds of uh, educational experience that will move them along on, on a regular schedule. We saw increases in test scores in the three schools that I've operated uh, micro society uh, programs in. Um, we've seen increased participation by outside sources, businesses who want to partner with um, our schools to help students understand uh, uh, economic and business concepts. Uh, we've seen more teamwork with our youngsters, which has resulted in lower uh, suspensions for our children. Uh, they resolve conflict better. We've seen youngsters uh, try things experience things that they wouldn't try before uh, in, in a teamwork situation. They're more supportive of each other. And those are the kinds of skills that, that I know um, uh, will fit into the 21st century workplace where these children will live and work for a long, long time. Micro Society has uh, built in training where uh, all of the staff is constantly trained. Uh, they're, they're, they're kept current uh, on, 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 on new and exciting uh, differences in programs and they get together at their annual conference to share uh, with each other to find out how other school districts are doing as well. The Micro Society schools in Shreveport are the talk of, uh, of this area in terms of their academic achievement. We're quite proud of them. Uh, we think we're developing not only outstanding students, but we are developing outstanding staff members through this Micro Society process and outstanding leaders who will take us to um, uh, uh, the academic uh, uh, places that we need to be.